10 things to do in Lawrenceville, Georgia. Hi, this is Tim Trevathan with Tim Trevathan Homes and Keller Williams Realty. And today I'm going to tell you about 10 things to do in Lawrenceville, Georgia. If this is your first time on my channel, be sure to subscribe because I cover all kinds of real estate content related to especially the North Metro Atlanta area. So don't forget to subscribe. Now the county seat of Gwinnett County, Lawrenceville is a sprawling suburb with lots to offer no matter what your interests are. Today, we're going to talk about the top 10 things to do in Lawrenceville, Georgia. Number one, Tribble Mill Park. There are a lot of great parks in Gwinnett County, but Lawrenceville is home to one of the best parks in the county, Tribble Mill Park. Like most parks, there is a playground and pavilions. You'll also find a 3.4 mile trail, perfect for walking or running, but that is not all you'll find at this wonderful park. Triple Mill Park also has trails where mountain bikes and horses are welcome. That makes this park unique. There is also a large lake where fishing is allowed and where non-motorized boats are also allowed. Triple Mill Park is the perfect place to escape into nature for an hour or even a full day. This park gets rave reviews by locals and even though it is a popular destination, it never feels overcrowded. Number two, Aurora Theater. Lawrenceville has a lot to be proud of, including hosting the second largest professional theater company in the entire state of Georgia, and the only professional theater company in Gwinnett County. The Lawrenceville Performing Arts Center in the heart of downtown Lawrenceville is a true world-class 56,000 square foot facility, including a theater, cabaret, classrooms, and indoor and outdoor civic spaces. The Aurora Theater offers classic Broadway musicals, comedy nights, a children's playhouse, cabaret, and more. There's also a Spanish language arm of the company Teatro Aurora. Spanish is not my first language, as you can see. That offers productions in the Spanish language. Here's a sampling of what you can expect. In spring 2022, productions include Roger and Hammerstein's Cinderella, a children's playhouse puppet telling of Pinocchio, and comedian Katie Hannigan. Those are just three of a vibrant list of offerings. Head over to the website after this video and put a show on your calendar. Number three, Gwinnett Stripers. Whether you are a baseball fan or not, you enjoy an outing to the ballpark. Cool Ray Field is home to the Gwinnett Stripers, the AAA affiliate for the Atlanta Braves. With general admission tickets starting as low as $8 in an easily accessible stadium with plenty of parking, a Stripers game makes a great family outing. If you have a child who loves baseball, considering joining the kids club. Perks include a free general admission ticket for every Sunday home game. At only $15, the kids club more than pays for itself in perks. Cool Ray Field also hosts several concerts a year. Baseball season or not, there is always fun to be had at the ballpark. Number five, Iron Shield Brewing. Located literally steps from Slow Pour Brewing Company, you'll find Iron Shield Brewing. This locally owned establishment focuses on locally made authentic European ales and lagers with an emphasis on German beers. Iron Shield Brewing offers live music and food trucks on weekend nights, as well as regular trivia nights and board game nights. If you are a beer aficionado, both breweries are well worth a visit. Number six, Historic Gwinnett Courthouse. If you enjoy local history, you will want to pay a visit to the Historic Gwinnett Courthouse. The second floor is home to the Gwinnett Historical Society's library. Browse through a collection of more than 1,600 documents related to local history. On the first floor, pay a visit to the Gwinnett Veterans Memorial Museum. In this free museum, it is home to artifacts from the Revolutionary War to the present day and honors the brave men and women from Gwinnett County who have served our country. When you are done inside the courthouse, stroll down the street to the Gwinnett History Museum to learn about the history of Lawrenceville through the past 200 years. Number seven, Medieval Times. This fun dinner show will transport you back to the 11th century Spain and is worth experience for both young and old alike. When you first arrive, you'll be assigned one of six colors. That color tells you which brave knight you'll be cheering for throughout the evening. 
the queen of the castle, Queen Maria Isabella, will invite you to partake of a feast consisting of garlic bread, tomato soup, roast chicken, corn, and an herb roasted potato. End your feast with ice cream and coffee. Yum! If you are a vegan, vegetarian, or gluten-free, just let your host know and they will be happy to serve a delicious meal that meets your needs. While you eat, you will enjoy a wonderful show complete with horses, falcons, jousting, and swords. Medieval Times Dinner and Tournament is an evening of entertainment you won't soon forget. Reservations are strongly recommended as shows often sell out, so be sure to plan your visit in advance. You'll be so into it, you'll want to be on that field fighting alongside your knight. Number eight, Collins Hill Park Aquatic Center. If you're looking to beat the summer heat, look no further than the Collins Hill Park Aquatic Center. There is an indoor lap pool that is open year round and has various swimming classes and exercise classes that are offered throughout the year. Not only this, but the star of the show at this aquatic center is the outdoor play pool complete with two water slides as well as an area for small children. There's a small admission fee with a discount for Gwinnett County residents. Number nine, dinner downtown. If you are like me and enjoy good food, you will love what downtown Lawrenceville has to offer. From barbecue to Mexican, from Italian to burgers, from seafood to pizza, you can find a restaurant downtown to satisfy your cravings. Lawrenceville has worked hard to create a walkable downtown that will draw you back over and over. Come early and enjoy a brewery or browse the shops before you eat, or enjoy dinner and then head over to a show at the Aurora Theater. Number 10, pick your own blueberries. At first glance, Lawrenceville doesn't look like the place where you would find a farm, but DJ's You Pick Blueberry Farm is a hidden gem with over 700 blueberry bushes that you don't want to miss. Kids of all ages will love picking their own perfectly ripe and perfectly tasty blueberries. If you like blueberries, it doesn't get any better than straight from the bush. A visit to the Blueberry Farm is also a great way to help kids learn firsthand about the farm to table food cycle. In Georgia, blueberry season is in the hot summer months, usually peaking in June and July. No matter whether you are looking to spend time exercising outdoors or simply sitting and enjoying the beauty of nature, or whether you're looking for a wonderful meal or cold beer, whether you are looking to take in a musical or enjoy life comedy, or whether you want to learn more about the history of the city, there's something for you in Lawrenceville, Georgia. Make sure to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I cover all kinds of things related to the real estate market and the hyper local market here in North Metro Atlanta area. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video.